Hey there, I'm Savannah and this is my tutorial for creating loose waves with your flat iron. To get started, make sure you brush out your hair really well so that the flat iron can glide through it easily. I'm going to show you how I curl my own hair, but keep in mind that these techniques can apply to any length. Um, the flat iron is great for controlling and personalizing waves on shorter hair too once you get it down. It's awesome and really quick. Um, so next part off the top of your hair, leaving a row at the bottom. I'm going to be using a couple of my very favorite products. The first one is called Smooth and Seal, and it doesn't really um, help you help the curls hold at all. It just makes your hair really shiny and soft and smooth. I love it. I use it on all of my clients and I use it on my hair every every day. I follow a pattern when I'm curling um, so that I don't miss any strands. It just helps me go faster and it makes my curls more even. Every time that I take down a section, I split it in half and I grab the back part so that I can always see the hair that I'm working with. Uh, so to curl, you take the hair and clamp down on it and start moving right away. Flip your iron either towards your face or away depending on which direction you want to go. Try and keep your iron more vertical than horizontal. Holding it horizontal will make your curls kind of go funky, especially on the ends. And then after your hair drops out of the iron, reshape the curl with your hand and let it cool. That will give the curls a lot more volume. If you just let them cool uh, laying flat, they will most likely go flat and sometimes even stay straight. One of the most important things to remember is to keep a consistent pressure and speed. So when you clamp that iron, keep it firm but not too tight or it'll skip um, down the hair uneven. And you want to go really slow. There's a lot of times in this video where it's sped up, but remember to go nice and slow. This is my next favorite product. It's uh, by Pravana. It's a hairspray and I love it because it has hold when I need it, but I can go, I can use it a couple days in a row and it just brushes right out. It doesn't build up or um, make my hair crunchy. I have all these little regrowth hairs from when my hair fell out when I had my baby, so I just have to straighten all those out. Put down that next section, remembering to keep your partings clean and follow your pattern. Keep in mind when you're curling to go way slower than this video right here is showing. Uh, a lot of people that I've taught, that's their biggest mistake is that they try and go too fast. And you just go nice and slow. If your curls aren't working out, most likely it's because you are trying to curl too fast. So slow it way down. And right there at the end, a lot of people also start twisting their iron a little more so that the end ends up a lot curlier than the top. You want to keep an even twist on your iron as you're going down and let the hair fall out of the iron naturally. So right there as you flip, pull nice and slow, slower than this, let it fall out without twisting the iron even tighter. video I am curling my hair away from my face so when I switch to this side um, I I flip my hand over and I curl backwards almost and so you're just gonna have to play around with what feels the most comfortable to you and you also can curl towards your face or um, switch it up and do some forwards some backwards with the flat iron it's really versatile and this and you can do anything that you want so what I mean is when I flip it over um, as I come in with the iron right there I flip and then it makes it easier for me to do that one rotation and I can pull down in a comfortable position with my hand but you may want to go 
up from underneath um, with your hand um, or try up and over like how I do it on this side. Um, it's really up to you. And the number one thing about curling your hair with a flat iron, I would say, is practice. <laughs> it's just going to take so much practice and you're probably going to have to wear your hair in a ponytail a few times after you spent a half hour trying to figure it out. But So that's frustrating, but I promise that once you get it down, it's so fast, so easy, and my curls will last for way longer with an iron or with a flat iron than they do with a curling iron. As you move into the final section, I move all of the rest of my hair that's already curled back behind so that I can keep my partings really clean again um, with that top section. And I like to take smaller pieces just so that it's easier to get to the root and um, I'm not left with any uh, creases or weird lines on the top. When you're putting the flat iron in, you want to make sure that that it's in line as if you were going to straighten your hair because um, if you put it in tilted like you're gonna curl it will create like a crease on the top um, and you won't you won't be able to get it out very easily and you'll have like a weird funky line up there so make sure as you're coming in that you clamp and you start moving right away that's important um, to not make any weird lines and make it seamless. As soon as you section that off and you put the heat on, come in and flip it and start moving right away. Remember, stay consistent with the angle of that flip as you come down. You'll notice as I do more of my bangs, as I get closer to the front, uh, I take smaller sections. Once you're done curling, make sure that you uh, finish it off with some hairspray and let it cool. Then run your fingers through it, break it up a little bit, that will help it get more of like a loose wave look. If you want it to be tighter or curlier, then don't run your fingers through it so much, but I like to have mine a little more loose and livable. And then you are all set and ready to go. Remember, it might take a little while to figure it all out, so practice lots and lots. Thanks so much for watching.